guys what's going on my name is Louis, and god bless every single one of you today is october 11 2023 and welcome to the grand spain news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out big breaking news if you can please share the video and it says here everybody get out of holy land this is coming out from russia they are telling everyone to get out the holy land the sleeping giant sends 100 First Airborne Division to Jordan. Now, sees battle on five fronts for IDF. The Sleeping Giant gives the Holy Land access to Sleeping Giant Ammunition Depots. So, we're going to see what's going on here, guys. So, the bear is telling everybody, get out of Israel. Get out. I want to show you something here really quick, guys. Let me just zoom this in. I want to show you some of these pictures. If you can, please share the video. Um, so we're going to get to this one here. And I believe they are preparing for something really big. Here goes the... Uh, Preparation military. So we're going to see what's going on in all this here, guys. Now, uh, the Holy Land is preparing for full scale war in underground parking lots. They have set up hospital with hundreds of bad all right guys before i start give this video big thumbs up share this video with your friends family so loved ones i appreciate the love and support and for those of you that want to contribute to the channel once again the paypal link and the patreon link is in the description box also guys one dollar a month patreon we get your access to our live stream every sunday we talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform also i posted videos today those link will be in the comments box and for those of you that want to send us letters a prayer request you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. All right, so once again, uh, the president is furious. He's not pleased. He's not pleased. So uh, I'm not going to play the video, guys, and the uh, reason why I do the copyright. And I'll try to be very careful with uh, you know certain videos I'm playing. Okay, let's go with this one here. All right, uh, let me uh, let me just bring the information. Um, see what's going on with this story. The bear is telling everyone in the Holy Land, you better get out. You need to get out. And the reason why? Look, is coming. Here comes a sleeping giant. They're gonna be sending a lot of stuff. All right. So the bear is telling them, you need to get out of Dodge. And look, guys, Egypt, Egypt gave a, a heads up to Israel and say, hey, man, there's something, something's going on, man. Something's going on. Uh, we're just giving you a heads up. Uh, just be careful. The bear is also giving warning. Hey, you need to get out. So you have some lands out there that is putting out, I mean, sounding the alarm. Well, only a few is listening. The sleeping giant is further strengthening its forces in the Middle East region after sending the aircraft carrier USS Ford and bolstering air assist in the region. They are also deploying the 101st Airborne Division to Jordan. Now, additional sleeping giant sources said the Holy Land will need additional ammunition and missiles. That is why they transferred to his ownership all the sleeping giant quantities of weapons that there are in warehouses in Israel. However, a study by a think tank in Bahrain, where the 5th Fleet is based, showed that it is possible that the Holy Land will fight, will have to fight on five fronts. Man. This is why they got the underground hospital, everything. I mean, they're just preparing for this big event. We are so close to uh, 
uh, seeing the great rapture of Jesus returning. With all this stuff going on, the minds of many has uh, been transformed. Their hearts has gone cold, and we are seeing that the church is uh, is corrupt. False prophets, false teachers. Uh, it just everything is so twisted. But stay focused, stay in the word of God, stay in the Bible, read the scriptures, and stay in prayer. All right, here we go. Washington sent the 101st Airborne Division to Jordan. So amid the escalation of Palestine and the Holy Land conflict, you have Washington sent the 101st Airborne Division, which is the most comeback ready unit of the Sleeping Giant Army, to Jordan. Guys, before I forget, someone just made a video and this video is uh i'm gonna try to share it but a person uh said that he was going online searching for something i, I guess a plumber to fix the pipes in his house and he said when he went on to google and searched for plumber and click go uh the only thing that popped up was arabic words so it's 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 happening to some people computers uh, so when you go onto Google Chrome and let's say you want to search for something, uh, you get the result, but it's not English, it's in Arabic. So uh, it's happening to certain computers, not everyone's, but uh, I have an Apple computer, uh, so it's not happening to mine. It's a possibility, it's Windows or something. Uh, so if you're having that issue, leave comments down below. Uh, so it seems like uh, with the hacking going on, uh, it seems like they are possibly impacting uh the sleeping giant uh softwares all right so along with this uh sources say that members of the sleeping giant special operation forces arrived in the holy land along with the uh, ci blank operatives now in addition he has sleeping giant the washington is sending yet another aircraft carrier to the area of potential hostility one of which is already within striking distance of the Lebanon Holy Land border. Now, in particular, Mr. John, the representative of National Security Skip, all that, stated in his statement that a second sleeping giant uh, aircraft carrier will be in the Mediterranean in the coming days. You need to understand what's going on here, guys. Prep. Prep. You see all the movements. All these things are provoking lands. The sleeping giants are provoking. Of course, Mr. Byrne has to uh, start everything in the world. Everything was fine until Mr. Byrne came. So according to Mr. John, the aircraft carrier that will be in the Middle E in the next few days is the Eisenhower, which will start on a long and planned trip that would take place next week and will be where it's needed. Here we go. The bear. This is very important. The bear is saying, get out of Holy Land. Get out of Holy Land. Get out, get out, get out. Now, why would the bear say that? It's gonna get really hot. See, the bear has connection with Persia, Iran. The bear has connection with Syria. The bear has connection with uh, all these other lands. And these other lands are probably talking to the bear right now, Russia, and telling them, hey, we're gonna do it. So the bear is telling everyone in the Holy Land, you need to get out of there. It's gonna be fire. Uh, so at the same time, the bear ambassador to the Holy Land, I'm gonna skip his name, called on the bear to leave, to leave the country without waiting for the situation to worsen. So you have all these countries sending their planes. Uh, Mexico was one of them. They sent, they sent five planes. Man, they got a lot of Mexicans there. So they send five planes out there in uh, Israel, and uh, you got all these countries sending their planes, evacuating their citizens. All these nations are telling them, hey, you need to get out. The only one that hasn't sent their plane is a sleeping giant. During a discussion on the current Arab Holy Land conflict at the Valdai International Debating Club, he suggested that his countrymen 
take advantage of the available scheduled flights. My strong recommendations. It is use the services of the bear and existing foreign air carriers that continue to provide their service now. Now, once again, this person added that in case of any other development of events, the embassy will not leave any of its fellow citizens unattended. Now, the bear capital, Moscow, meanwhile, proposed removing civilians from the Isa Strip, according to this person, press secretary of the bear mission to the palace national authority. The list included citizens of, look at that, all these uh, countries right here. I'm just going to highlight it. In total, there are 400 people, of which 280 are uh, Russians. Now, earlier, the German foreign ministry scheduled the removal of citizens from the Holy Land by special flights on October the 12th and the 13th. Poland, Thailand, India, Lithuania, Bulgaria, Hungary, and others have already begun evacuating their citizens. Guys, October the 13th, stay home. Stay home. Stay home October the 13th. Not here. Uh, it's not only here for the sleeping giant, but around the world. Stay home October the 13th. But again, Lewis, it's Friday, man. It's October. Man, it's Friday the 13th, man. I get paid, man. Man, I got to go to the clubs and stuff like that. I got to get my Mac Daddy button shirts and everything on and my, you know, my curve clone and this and that. I got to get ready. Here's the thing, guys. Many sleeping giants will be caught by surprise. They're going to get, again, too much party and not being aware of what's going on in these end times. They're going to get impacted just like those in the festival. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but eventually it will happen. You got to stay aware of your, I mean, you know, keep aware of your surroundings. Because uh, you could be sitting right next to a sleeper, C-E-L-L. -L. Uh, you go to a baseball game, you could be sitting right next to a murderer. You go to, a, you know, whatever, you could be sitting right next to, who knows. All right, so Persia guards will support Hell's Bowl against the Holy Land. According to the bear sources, Persia may enter, Persia may enter, Iran may enter, an armed biblical conflict with the Holy Land on the side of the Shiat movement Hells Bowl and the framework of a joint operation. This would be game on. There's going to be multiple lands just going at it. Thus, and by the way, guys, uh, if this does happen, you better fill up your tanks. Uh, thus, a significant territorial expansion of the conflict that has erupted in the Middle East cannot be ruled out. So far, Persia has refrained from directly participating as hostile, limiting itself to a humanitarian mission. Tehran, that's the capital of Iran, together with Kariel, uh, really apologize about that, guys, organized the delivery of aid to the Aza Strip, mainly medicine and food. By the way, uh, 20, almost 2,500 house and a lot of buildings, gone. In Aza, it's just completely gone. It's wiped out. And uh, Benjamin is like, oh, I'm not done. I am not done. So, and you have the U.S. Uh, sleeping giant leader, Mr. Joe. He is furious when he watched the video, the young ones where, you know, all that stuff going on. He's furious. So according to the bear, it cannot be ruled out that the sleeping giant together with the Holy Land will try to provoke Persia dynamic involvement in current events, thereby undermining Persia capital ability to resolve local conflict without the use of military force. Analysts see risk of biblical war on five fronts for Holy Land. In the near future, the Holy Land is threatened with the outbreak of hostility on five fronts simultaneously. This is the conclusion reached by analysts from the Lebec Special Center operating in Bahrain at the base of the Fifth Fleet. All right, so it says here in numero uno, uh, the fighting with the palace 
Amas moving, operating in Aza Strip is already underway. Number two. Now the situation on the border with Lebanon has worsened and the Hezbollah movement may go to biblical war with the bear. I mean, with the with the Holy Land. And number three, in addition, the palace of the West Bank are likely to join the biblical war. And number four, in the entry of Syria and Persia into the war is likely. All right, so analyst stress that the conflict will be long term and constantly escalating. Now you have the palace issue is one of the cornerstones of the state ideology of Persia, as well as in Syria. It is clear that in the context of the development of Holy Land military operation in Aza, Persia will not be able to stay on the sidelines. Now, probably the first thing that will happen is to strike uh, his uh, proxy from Lebanon, Iraq, and Yemen, as well as the IRGC. You guys already know that's the Persia Revolutionary Guard. Um, according to the representative uh, Bahraini uh, think tank, Holy Land is still afraid to openly blame the Persian authorities for the strike on the country, as they understand that such an accusation uh, would actually drive Persia into a corner and give it no room for maneuver. I wouldn't say they are afraid. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say that. The Holy Land is not scared of Persia. They're not scared of them. Uh, they know it's Persia. They always blame Persia for everything that, you know, and 90% uh, of it is, is, is all Persia. Then Persia, which is Iran, I got to say the name because a lot of people don't understand the cold words here. Uh, follow me with the uh, article. So Persia entry into the war will simply become inevitable as long as the Holy Land does not exceed certain limits in relation to Persia, the latter may refrain from direct participation in hostility since, in turn, it fears the entry of the sleeping giant and NATO into the biblical war. But how the event will unfold is still completely unclear. Footage showing the recent launch rockets out of Aza and the interception by the Iron Dome. But this here, this is a, this is something big. Once again, this is underground tunnel. Underground tunnel. Do we have something like this? Nah, we don't have this. We don't have this. We don't have no underground tunnel. We don't have bunkers. Only those in the spotlight, they have them. I must announce the launch of rockets in the direction of Tel Aviv in response to the Holy Land bombing in Aza. Get out. Get out, get out, get out. That's what many lands are telling their citizen. Get out of Dodge. This thing is going to get really, really, really hot. All right. Uh, let me take it back onto Twitter and see if there's any more information. Mm hmm. What's going on here? What is this? Uh, what is this? Search and rescue operation are ongoing in the rubble of what is, is left of the southern Aza city of Khan has been hammered by the Holy Land airstrike tonight. Look at that. Look, at the very end, it's not the people's fault. At the very end, it's those in the spotlight. Those that is in the spotlight is their fault. If only we could just make a nice boxing ring and give them gloves and let them just go at it. But uh, no, it doesn't work like that. They are protected. Even though they started everything, they are protected. Give me a second here, guys. Let me just double check something really quick here.
<laughs> Excuse me, guys. Let me read this one really quick. Because you have Jordan moving tanks and troops to the Holy Land border. So, it's, so again, this was, it's happening. You got all these uh, military equipments being moved. All right, you got a lot of stuff being moved. The Sleeping Giant moved their stuff too. Now Jordan's moving their stuff. Um, so is this a video? No, it's not a video. Uh, just a picture. So it says a uh, picture below. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is something that uh, in order to read the full article, you have to uh, pay the monthly subscription. So it says here, uh, the country of Jordan is right now moving heavy armored and troops to the border with the Holy Land. Earlier today, at the request of the Holy Land, Jordan closed its border crossing in and out of Holy Land. Now this. The video below is uh, for subscribe. Okay, so with over 100,000 people. Okay, so I'm just going to skip that one, guys. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on right now. Military stuff is being moved. Look at this. I think I'm gonna make a video of this one here. This here is gonna be my next video. Look at that. Persia is a uh, convoys moving long range missile to launch point. We're going to see what's going on in this one here. This is going to be my next one. Now, again, uh, this one here uh, is a monthly subscription. So, yeah, I'm going to make a video. This one is going to be the next one here, guys. So, there's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of uh, military equipment is being moved. Um, and it's, you know, multiple navies uh, in different country are placed on heightened alert. Uh, so, I will keep you updated on all this story. Make sure you share the video. Uh, to your friends and families, I would keep you updated when it comes to all these biblical wars. And uh, at the very same time, these are exciting times of Bible prophecy. We are seeing it. We are living it. We are witnessing scriptures, the book of Matthew, the gospel of Luke, Mark, John. We are seeing the nation against nation. Jesus said it will be signs and all these signs will lead to his return. You know, at the same time, Romans chapter one, we are seeing that God has given up people to a reprobate mind, the base mind. We are living in perilous times and perilous man. So we are seeing great changes going on, lawlessness. The church is messed up inside and outside. This is why it's very important to come together and stay in prayer. It's time, brothers and sisters, to go out there and make disciples. And spread the gospel of Jesus Christ because Jesus is coming. The rapture is imminent. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Once again, for those of you that, uh, for those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago. Or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2. Holiday, Florida, 34691. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give your light to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time. Till next time later. Peace.